Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Joe from Heating Up. I uh, hope everyone's doing well on this Sunday, September 12th. Um, I am sitting in the parking lot at work once again. It is about 10 to 2 and I got here a little bit earlier than normal so I wanted to do a let me fix this quick uh, quick little sauce review for you guys. Um, this one I actually forgot I had and I apologize. Um, this was sent to me from uh, Colton from Rock in the Heat. This is his uh, his cherry ghost. Now I don't know if he's a, if he's making this or this was just a one off or whatnot. Um, the only thing I know is that he told me that it, this batch didn't turn out as good as he wanted it because I guess he said he put a little too much salt in um, and forgot to add lemon juice. I guess, but. It is what it is. I'm going to give it a good honest review and uh, tell you what I think about it. Uh, I know the other sauce that he sent me, the I believe it was the Fiery Fluid or the Honey Jalapeno, one of the two. Um, that's gone. My Me and my wife, she loves that sauce um, on her eggs and stuff in the morning. So um, That's that. I uh, hope everybody had a great day uh, wherever you were at yesterday. Um, you know, reflecting back on the last 20 years of our life and where we are now and where we were then, um, it's good to remember. It really is. And uh, sometimes, you know, with all the stuff going on, we forget where we came from. So, that being said, um, I'm very grateful to be here right now for you guys doing this review. Um, 288 subscribers I believe right now so when I hit 300 I'm gonna be doing um, a challenge to commemorate the 300 um, as you can see I'm coming back at you in the WCCC uh, my cars not doing well right now so we're trying to just drive that as minimally as possible um, and with my wife not working at the moment you know I'm gonna have to do what I can to take her car when I when I have to and make ends meet that way so anyway um, I will not be tainting Colton's rock in the heat sauce uh, ghost cherry I believe is what it is um, all I can tell you is I'm assuming it has ghost peppers and cherries in it some sort of vinegar and apparently some salt um, other than that I have no idea like I said I had it in my fridge in my hot sauce fridge and completely spaced it out till I was looking for sauce this morning to bring to work and I'm like oh man I haven't even touched this one yet so um, we'll review that right now and pray to the heavens above that I do not spill anything in my wife's car because that would be no good Definitely get a blast of cherries and uh, vinegar. You guys, see the consistency of this? See that? It's pretty thick, but it smells great. I'm trying to think if I can pick up anything other than. quite sure but anyway this is Joe from heating up this is Colton's ghost tomato ghost or ghost tomato or ghost cherry or I think it's ghost cherry um, I don't know I apologize man I feel like an asshole now um, he sent me a paper and what was on it and like I said life happened and it's been so crazy um, I misplaced the paper so I think that's what this is, but anyway, we're going to give it a go. It's Joe from Heating Up. Cheers. Thank you so much, Colton.
I'm not getting the crazy amount of salt. It is a little salty. That's fine. I think the lemon juice, the missing of the lemon juice is what's what's missing with the acidity to make it come together at the end, but uh, taste wise it's got a little kick to it I wouldn't say it's mind-blowingly hot because it's not for me anyway um, maybe for me a touch too much salt you know little acidity at the end would have been how, how would have been helpful to it but I don't even know if he's making this sauce I think this might have just been a test batch that he sent out to a few people to try either way I appreciate you Colton I appreciate uh, all the hard work you're putting into making sauces man I, uh, if I had money I'd uh, I'd definitely buy some up from you right now unfortunately I don't is what it is um, doing the best I can to support my family in this crazy time but yeah that was a, that was a decent sauce I'll definitely will use that try to figure out what I can pair that with um, everything seems to go well with chicken chicken and meat really um, but that'll be good on some chicken that'll probably be good uh, in an omelet or some scrambled eggs in the morning um, definitely won't go to waste so I appreciate you brother for sending that out um, much love hope everything's going well for you uh, I did want to say uh, if you could shoot uh, Tommy Scoville some prayers some thoughts some well wishes um, our brother has COVID and uh, he's making some videos you know down and out which I definitely appreciate he didn't have to be doing that um, he'll be all right he'll get better um, you know it's just every time I get a, a tickle in my throat or you know stuffy nose I'm thinking oh man do I got it too but it sucks to live like that um, so I'm trying not to I'm trying to just live each day right now as it comes so that's what we're doing so continue prayers for Tommy um, you'll be back soon I know it um, always continue prayers for Rhett He's still dealing with some uh, leg pain and stuff like that. Just saw that his video just dropped when I was starting to make mine, so I'm going to watch that after this. Uh, you know, other than that, uh, just much love to everybody in this community. All my friends, um, I appreciate you. You know who you are. You know. Rhett, Steve, Heat My Shorts, uh, Thomas Elwood Bailey, uh, Tony Reeves, uh, you know, the usual suspects, Charlie Layton, Charlie Mullins, love you, Charlie. Um, kind of jealous that you got to meet Johnny yesterday, but that's cool, man. It's good for you. Uh, I can't wait to hopefully, if New York uh, Hot Sauce Expo is still going on in October, I'm hopefully going to be able to meet him as well if I can uh, scrape together some cash to do so. But we will we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And I think at this point I'm rambling long enough, so I'm going to uh, shut the video off, upload that, and get ready to go to work. Hopefully uh, at 420, 425 today, the Patriots are on playing the Dolphins in the first game, so hopefully I get to watch a little bit of that um, off and on at work. We'll see. I think that's about it uh, other than that uh, if you guys like what you see you know thumbs up uh, click that subscribe button bell for notifications so you won't miss anything uh, share with your friends and family tell them about heating up I'm gonna be starting to hit some more challenges uh, throughout the next few weeks uh, kind of still am a little pissy about that six hot ball challenge yesterday 
Um, probably not going to get points for it, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, hope everyone has a great day. Uh, much love. Tell someone you love them. Uh, reach out to somebody. Shoot them a text. Give them a call. Might make their day, you know. Um, in this world we're living in, every little bit we can do, you know, helps. And, you know, I know it makes my day when somebody asks me how I'm doing or somebody says they're praying for me or, you know, supporting me. So, definitely makes my day. So, I like to try to do that as much as I can. Sometimes I forget it. But, you know, I'm human. I make mistakes. Anyway, this is Joe from the WCCC, the Wife's Capsaicin Command Center. This has been another episode of Heating Up. Um, I will be back tomorrow for some pods. I'm not sure what I'm going to be munching on, but I will be munching on some pods for you in the morning. And uh, other than that, as always, my name's Joe. I will catch all you beautiful people on the next one. Have a great day, guys.